everybody, you're watching Cole the Corn Star. If you're even slightly interested in farming or just want to watch a 22 year old farmer get some stuff done, you're in the right place. I can tell that dad's been in here because he never shuts the drawers on the toolboxes. wind has finally died down enough to where I can show you what we're doing. I'm putting a spout here on top of this 12 inch auger that comes out of the pit. We filled both of the pits with some lime that way there's not as big of a hole there for water and rotten corn to collect. It's basically just enough of a hole for corn to run right to the augers. We wired up that light right there that way when we're pulling semis on we can see. And then we just got to put the door on that bin right there then check a couple belts and stuff and then we should be ready to go. We got another little mini project here quick so when the junk guys were moving stuff around they must have accidentally bump the dryer here we got a little hole here and if we just left this it would just pile up corn till it got to here and I mean that's an option but I don't really want that so I'm gonna see if I can find something to cover this an awkward thing because it's indented in but we'll get it figured out ever have a hole in your bin that you're trying to plug just stuff raincoats in them sometimes and it don't matter if you're a farmer whatever job you got just working in the house sometimes we get in a hurry and we forget about safety my friend was telling me how safety safety he always tries to tell his kids and yesterday he was working with a, an auger and he had gloves on and his finger got close to a sprocket and it grabbed the glove off his hand and it did a little bit of skin damage to his finger but nothing serious he'll be fine but it made me think too we want everybody safe so sometimes we just got to slow down or think and I know accidents can even happen when we're the most carefulest people in the world. We just want every one of you in top shape. Because otherwise, how would you push the button to turn on your phone to watch me and Cole and Cooper and the wife? Be safe, everybody. Okay, before the night ends here, we're going to keep installing some cables here in the big machine shed. We got the combine lights on. That way we can see. I'm going to get these installed here. And then the big machine shed will be done. Hey, good morning, everybody. I went ahead before I started this morning. I made sure my sweatshirt was on right. We're going to try to get a good start on things today. Our beans are so close, it's nerve-wracking. Hopefully today. So anyhow, I'm going to take and go over to Kohl's here in a little bit. The sun's supposed to be out strong, and I'm hoping we can get some beans out. It is kind of nerve-wracking when you can't go and everybody else is going, it seems like. Let's get the journey started. Neighbor just called. Apparently he's pouring concrete in his yard. We've got like two inches of rain over the past couple days. And they got the concrete truck stuck. So anyway, I'm going to go unhook a tractor from a grain cart. It's cold out this morning. One thing with a diesel engine, you want to let her warm up good. Dad's on his way. Yeah, drive right through the grass. There you go. Gonna take you along for a little ride this morning. I got a call about 7.30, quarter to eight this morning. It's 29 degrees out. My good friend is pouring cement and the cement truck decided to get stuck in his yard with a full load. Cole actually was able to get things unhooked. When you got the grain carts and everything hooked up, you just don't unhook them in two and a half minutes. We're on the way over, try to pull him out. Hopefully our little tractor here will. All right, here we're pulling up on the cement truck. Let's take some looks here. Look like we're a little bit stuck. I just seen the cutest little thing ever. For you parents that got kids that are three years old and younger, they definitely need this little bugger here. It's a little skid loader. It is mighty little skid loader. Age group, three and under. You gotta buy it for your kids. Look how little this thing is. It's adorable. Your kids will love you. Could you imagine your three-year-old running it around, plows into the neighbor's house? They'll be looking like, hey, honey, look at the little boy across the street. He's got one of them cute little skid loaders. Ah, oh, it's just sighting. We can replace it some other year. You gotta get one. I don't really know where this coat came from, but I looked in the pocket yesterday and I found a paper from 2006. So I 
think it's been sitting for a little while. Morning, Dad. Morning, Cole. Should we run over and check out some beans? Instead of going out to see if the beans are ready, we're just gonna get everything ready, then go check and see if the beans are ready. Then if they are ready, then we can just go pick instead of coming back, getting everything ready, then going to pick. You feel what I'm saying? Hey, Tiger Cat. You know, for being such a manly looking cat, you have a pretty wimpy meow. We need combine. We gotta unload the corn head so we can go down and get the bean head. Come on, run me over. Do it, chicken. Wow, wouldn't have ever guessed he's on his phone again. This corn head trailer here is actually a six row head trailer, but we kind of just made it into an eight. So it's kind of finicky getting it on there. It's honestly too small. We need to get one that fits this, but it's what we have and it works. It's just annoying putting the head on it. Good job, Dad. Put that diesel fuel in the combine. All right, here we go. Hey, Ag Leader, you should get it on this thing where we could, like, put DVDs in here or something so we could watch movies while we're combining. I'll take cash, a new combine, whatever. Just, it's an idea. Hey, look what it is. Vacuum cleaner. Wow, it's like a professional mowed my parents' lawn. Oh, what? Never mind. I was just Cooper. The bean head's in there. Cooper backed out the John Deere. He's gonna back out the bean head. We're gonna put the bean head on the combine. Put the new sickle on the bean head. Put the bean head back on the trailer. Drive everything down to the farm that we're gonna harvest the beans at. And then we'll put the bean head back on. Sound good? Sounds good. Hey, I think you're writing that wrong. Battery's dead. I just pushed start it. Morning. What's wrong with this thing? Yeah, it's funny. Fun fact, this bean head was in a corn crib that caught on fire. We got it out just in time. That's why this plastic thing here is all cinched up. It got pretty toasty. If you don't know what a sickle is on a bean head, I'll show you. These are sickles. We have three of them right here. This is the one that was on the combine. We had a spare one in case we had something break. We could just slap this one on real quick last year. We were just gonna replace all these on the old one here, but we did a price match. And by the time you put your time into it, it was basically the same to buy a brand new one. So now we got three of them. This one has a lot of really good individual sickles on it. So if we hit a rock or something and break one of these, we can easily pull it off one of these. And then if we break a bunch of them on this one, then we can just slap the new one on real quick. Each of these come in individual sections. So you just gotta take these off, pop that off, put a new one on, you're good to go. There are quite a few sickles on here that are still fairly decent. So we'll pull the good ones off. Then if we hit a rock or something and break these off, then we can just slap a good used one on and it'll still work just fine. You wouldn't believe it, but I just recorded that last scene about seven times before I got it right. Whew. It took me so long to record that, that Cooper got the bean head on in the meantime. Come on, flip it. Sickle goes in here and it goes back and forth and then the beans basically get stuck between here and that sickle comes in and it cuts it off. That was a really bad way of describing that, but that's how I'm gonna describe it as that's what happens. So in the front of the bean head here, we have all these little guards and when you hit rocks and stuff, they bend and then just over time, they start to get thin and then you get a lot of slap in the sickle and that's not what you want. So we gotta go through and replace several of these before we put the sickle back on. Then we'll slap the sickle on then we'll be ready to go. Hey, good job, dad. Congratulations on the flat tire. How'd you manage that? I'm just glad we made it home. Yeah. This one here's just got a minor bend in it. It's supposed to be straight like that. Normally if we were going in the field, this probably wouldn't be too much of an issue unless it was rubbing. Since we're here at the shop, we got all the air hoses and stuff and we're taking everything apart anyway. We're just gonna slap a new one on quick. So the way we can tell if these are wore too much or not, we look right here at the end of my finger and see how thick that piece is. That's pretty thin compared to a brand new one. So this one's gonna get replaced. We're gonna run over just down the road to our closest bean field, check and see if stuff's ready to go. If it's ready to go, we're gonna pull the combine over there and get started. How do you feel driving the minivan, Dad? Yeah, it's been a while. Actually feels pretty nice. See what I mean? Minivan. That one felt like it was cracking. 14.23. So 14% moisture, 0.2. They don't feel too bad. Every single part of me wants to be biased and say these beans are ready. We're doing the crack test in our teeth and out of 10 that I did, I only had two crack. The further we go down this hill, kind of the greener they get. We're gonna head to a field in that direction that is an earlier maturity bean, so they should be further along. At least they were last week when we looked. See how those look, and if those are ready, then we'll go there instead. These look browner, I think, than where we just came. That one cracked, so I think we're good to go. They sound hard. We're ready to go. 
Boogity 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 boys! We're flying down the road! Aw, oh, come on, Dad, you're running over all our profit! Don't stop here. Ah, you'll break an ankle. We think that Cooper put the guards on wrong. His dad would say this is the first mistake we've ever made. Are they like halfway decent yet though? Right now dad's getting the rotor speed, the fan speed, the concaves all set to where he wants them and then he can adjust them as he goes but we have kind of baseline settings and then we can play with it as the crop comes in. Then we gotta do one more calibration test on the monitor here. First day in the field is never fun because dad is grumpy every single year. You don't, <laughs> you don't want to be around him when he's running the combine for the first time. Trust me. Well, we made it about 100 feet across the field and we're thinking the shaker pin wasn't put in right. So we got some damage here on the other side. This is cracked. Basically, it's running in a big circle. Instead of straight back and forth, it's running like this. So something's wrong. I gotta say, this is a record for us. I don't think we've ever broken down within 100 feet before. Looks like we're gonna have to take the head off, bring the combine back home again. Conveniently enough, this is our furthest farm from home. We get a half an hour drive back. <laughs> These things happen though, can't get too upset about it. Ryan, our combine mechanic, AKA the guy who bought the Model T, he just called back and said we can just clean this up and we can take it apart and put it back together out here in the field. That's pretty good news because it saves us a half an hour drive home and a half an hour drive back. We're gonna try to get this fixed before it gets dark. Hopefully we have bolts. I take it as what happened is this bolt is supposed to go through here and this just got put together without being put through here. You can see the old wear points. So I think we're just gonna take this part, lift this back up, put the bolts in. The other side has a cracked weld right here, so I don't know if that's gonna bother or not. Looks pretty comfortable, Dad. No, it's not. How many people does it take? Looks like it takes three people to fix it. That shaker pan's heavy, it's hard to hold up. We're having some issues with trash getting in the tank and by trash I mean like pods and sticks and stuff. Cooper went and took a moisture sample into our local co-op here and it came back at 16.3%. 15s are cut off so we'd like it around 14. 15 is the absolute wettest we'll pick at so we're gonna be done for tonight. We're gonna have to come back tomorrow when it dries down a little bit. Beans can lose moisture and gain moisture very quickly so it's not uncommon for you to be in 12% beans and by the end of the night you'll be at 15. One of those things. We're trying to mess with our fan speed settings right now but we're not getting it to turn up for some reason we already have all our settings on the machine maxed out so we don't know what's all going on but luckily ryan the combine mechanic is good he's on the phone with dad right now so we'll get this issue resolved i just wanted to take a quick moment and thank everybody like cole did on his last video it's a real privilege that everybody's been watching our videos and it's just a great honor but i want to thank cole too for starting this it's gave us a whole new outlook out here on the farm and stuff and thank you cooper you've been a uh, between cooper and cole i could not do this without them we're a team we work as a team and my daughter i really look up to my daughter also she's been a great great girl and then my wife as every person knows you couldn't do it without a good partner behind you and stuff and trust me she puts up with a lot of crap with me and i see her roll her eyes a lot but uh she deals with it and, uh so anyhow thank you everybody and let's just keep this a going strong and i'm so proud of my whole family and cole keep it going and don't throw me under the bus <laughs> Thank you.